Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I have a new background. I am pumped. I am finally at my college, so this is my new beauty room, and I just decided a new background was necessary. So yeah, um, if you guys want a beauty room tour, then just let me know down below. I would love to do that for you guys. I also did record my bedroom tour, so I will link that down below for you guys too. So what time is it? It's boxy charm time. <laughs> so today's video is all about boxy charm. This is my what month is it? August. August boxy charm. So if you want to see what's in the box, then just keep on watching. So this month's boxy charm theme is beach please. So the first thing that I see in the box this month is this brush set. So this brush set is from this brush set is from Royal and Ling Nickel. So it comes with three brushes in the package. These are heavy duty. These feel so good on my hands and like I really like this handle and the bristles feel really soft. Like really soft. And then there's this one which honestly I honestly don't even think I'm gonna really use this one ever. It's really short, dense, in like a weird shape. And then also it comes with this crease, crease, crease brush and it's really soft as well. I really like this handle. It's like a rubbery type of feeling so it's not like slippery on your hands and you can really like control it. Wow, I really like these so I'm pumped to try this out. So first we are going to bronze the face with this one and this whole set of three brushes retails for $26 so that's a pretty good price. So I'm just going to go in and swirl these all around because that's what I do with this bronzer palette. So far I'm really loving this brush. It's like my new favorite bronzing brush. I think this replaced my Real Techniques bronzing brush. So this is an A plus for me. I'm so impressed honestly and it's so soft and it picks up product like the perfect amount. So I am pumped. So we are going to apply some blush with this brush as well. This is the Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. One of my faves. So I'm just going to dunk in a little bit. Tap off some excess. Wow, that applied that perfectly. Obsess. New obsession. Um, this brush I'm not going to use today just because I already contoured my nose and I just feel like there's no point. I don't think I'll ever use this brush, unfortunately. I will try and I will probably give it away to one of my friends or something and see if they can use it. So the next big thing that I see in the box is this bad boy. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. Can we just all talk about how Tarte is in the box this month? Like, that is insane. Like, props to BoxyCharm because I am impressed right now. So when you open it up... Oh my god. Is this not the cutest little thing? It's like a circle and it has like things from the ocean. It's so cute. So when you open it up, it has this little sleeve. Toss that. This is what these shades look like. This is like a perfect palette, especially for girls that are like just starting off with makeup and just really need a good variety. It just has like gorgeous shades. So I am so excited to dive into this. So we are going to do a tutorial with this right now. I'm going to go in with Marina right here. This is a really pretty like crease shade. You know what I'm noticing? This ha these have no fallout. That's insane, like look. No fallout at all. I wonder if they're like creams. That's interesting. I've never played with eyeshadows like this, so this should be very interesting. It's like you don't like you tap it off and nothing comes off, so that's insane. So I'm gonna run this in my crease.
Okay, so that is Marina right in the crease. What I realized as I was applying this that these are like very creamy. They're not like powdery with like a ton of kickback. So you have to build them up a lot. So this is perfect for you girls that are new to makeup and are kind of scared of eyeshadows that are too pigmented. So I would definitely try this out if you are looking for a new eyeshadow palette and you're new at makeup. So this is like perfect for you. So next, I'm going to go in with Seaside right here, this really dark brown. And I'm going to use that same brush. Might as well. Who cares? So that is the color Seaside. And next I'm going to go in with this really champagne-y color Sunset. I'm going to put that all over my lid. And for this I'm going to go in with like a more dense um, flat shader brush. Wow, this is stunning without any like glue or fix plus. Like this is gorgeous. And then for my bottom lower lash line, I'm just going to go in with this really dark chocolate brown, and this is the shade Seaside. And then for my brow bone highlight and my inner corners, I'm going to go in with the shade Pearl right here. And I'm going to take like a little pencil brush, if I can find it. That color is literally stunning. Like, stunning. So I honestly give this palette an A+. I tried to use most of the colors. I incorporated four colors into this look, and I think it looks absolutely stunning. These are so easy to blend, but you do have to build up the color a lot, so just keep that in mind when you're using this. But so far, I love this. So now moving on to the next item. The next item is a black eyeliner. This is the Bella Pierre Gel Eyeliner, and this is in the shade black. Oh. Ebony. And this eyeliner retails for $15, honey. That's a lot for eyeliner. But apparently it is waterproof, so I'm not going to cry or anything, but let's just believe that claim right now. Oh, this isn't a sharp... Oh, you have to sharpen this? Oh, that sucks. Um, I kind of like this. This isn't my favorite. Um, I do have better ones that are cheaper, so it just kind of like took a lot of building up to get to like the black color, but it's alright. It's not like the worst. It's not the best. I will definitely keep using it, obviously, because it did the job, so you can't really complain. The next thing in the box I am so excited about. These are pure eyelashes. Girl, these are stunning. Literally stunning. Like, gorgeous and they are 3d cruelty free luxe lashes up to 30 wears so girl i'm gonna wear them 30 times because these retail for 14 dollars which is not bad for eyelashes that look like this they're really wispy they're really like separated and they're just stunning so i'm going to go apply these real quick and i will be right back okay so lashes are on um, I'm not really sure how I feel about them because, like, it's funky right here and, like, right here, but I don't know. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stick with my, <laughs> um, wispies. Yeah, I like those better than these, but, I mean, they're a nice change. I just don't really like them that much. Plus, they're, like, so hard to get on. I don't know why they wouldn't stick to my eyes. Like, I'm really good at putting lashes on, so I have no idea what was going on. So, on to the next item, and the last item 
The last item is this lipstick. This is by the brand The Beauty Crop, and this retails for $14.95, so it's around like $15 pretty much after tax, and it's Girl Power Liquid Lipsticks. I'm obsessed with colors like these, like obsessed. So let's see what this looks like on the lips. So I really like this color. It's literally gorgeous. And this smells really good. It kind of smells like cupcakes. And I can still smell it on my lips, which that is really nice. I actually really like this. Um, it's drying down really fast, which I really enjoy. Like, thank you. I hate when lipsticks keep like tacky and they're gross. So yeah, this is really dry. The grand total for this month's box is $105.95. It's insane that we pay $20, $21 to get these boxes and they're over $100 every time. I'm so impressed. Mainly the things that I absolutely love is the eyeshadow palette. These two brushes out of the set, I'm not going to use this one. I'll probably give this one away. Um, I really love the lipstick and I'm honestly not the biggest fan of these eyelashes. I don't know why I think they're really pretty I think I just have to get used to them because I'm used to my wispies so yeah um I hope you guys enjoyed this little video I love boxycharm unboxings who doesn't um don't forget to subscribe before you leave I am doing a giveaway at 2k so once we hit 2k subscribers we'll give away some goodies thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye guys